Wondering how to have your business growing like wildfire is to become worthy, worthy of their trust, worthy of their business. Become the agent that is worthy and deserves all the business that's going to come your way. After now 30 years in real estate, what I've found is, is that Agents get the business they deserve. And so how do you become more deserving of more business? And what I want to do today is really go through on some of the steps that you can take to become worthy of the business, that you become that agent that they would be crazy not to work with you because you have all the skills, you have all the resources, you have all of the understanding of how to meet their needs in a way that no one else can match. So I'm going to go through and break this down into five different steps of exactly what you can do to set yourself up to be that deserving agent. The first thing to do is, is to understand your ideal client better than ever before. What is it that they have a need for? What is it that they want? What are their pain points? What are their dreams? What is it their aspirations? What is it that you can do to make sure that you provide everything they need? Because when you become a student of who they are and you understand that this really isn't even about you, it's about you serving them in a way and understanding them at a high enough level that whatever it is they're thinking, you already understand the emotions they're having and you can give them the information they need to make the best decision for them. Once you've done the work and you understand your ideal client better than anybody else, you're now in a position to serve them at a high level. And with that high level, you are now worthy to get their business. Next up is to become their most qualified resource for everything they need. You know, if once we understand who they are, now what is it that they need? Now, how are we going to educate ourselves so that we're absolutely the best and most qualified person to serve them? So this could be understanding your market better than anybody else. This could be understanding financing, or this could be first-time home buyer, understanding first-time home buyer type programs. If you're working with luxury buyers, maybe or luxury sellers, maybe this is something where you understand how to market it luxury properties at a higher level than anybody else you know. You see, when you develop the skills and become the best resource possible for your ideal client, you're absolutely going to be the person they're going to turn to when they need to buy or sell real estate. Number three, become the best communicator in your market. Listen, you can have the best information possible, but unless you share that information out in a way that people recognize you as that resource, you're really going to be dead in the water. So how do you do this? Video content. Obviously, you hear me say it all the time. It is absolutely the best way for you to take and, and take one little piece of knowledge and magnify it out to a large audience. This can be done through sending emails to your database. This can be done by hosting uh, seminars on for investors or hosting seminars for first-time home buyers or hosting something when there's an HOA meeting where you come in and you give them the most the best market stats about what's been going on in their neighborhood and your predictions of what's to come. You see when you are become the best communicator and you have the ability to communicate out value in a way you're absolutely going to see that communication and that value you put out come back in ways you can't even imagine. The fourth step is to do what you say you are going to do. Um, It's kind of crazy. If you look around, I feel like sometimes I look around at other agents in in our market and I watch how they do their business where they get a phone call and they don't return the phone call. Or they say they're going to send something by noon and they don't send it until the next day. When you become someone that you do what you say, and fortunately in our market and in this business, you're really going to stand out. Just by being someone that does what they say, that your word means something, that they can count on you, that you're consistent, all of those are traits that, are, that people are looking for. And unfortunately, in a lot of cases, people in our business, our competition is not doing that. So make sure that you're the person that if you say you're going to do something, do that, and you'll absolutely be that agent of choice when the time comes for them. Last but not least, become the person that they feel appreciates them the most. What is it that you've done recently for past clients, sphere of influence, somebody that sent you a referral, somebody that you got a chance to meet at an open house? Did you send a thank you note afterwards? Did you follow up with them the way that you said you would? You see, when they feel appreciated, the law of reciprocity states that they're going to try to do something to help you out. And they're going to want to reimburse you, so to speak, for that thoughtfulness that you have for them and the way that they feel appreciated. So what is it that you can do? Client appreciation events. Sending thank you notes that are handwritten, remembering dates or anniversaries of when they bought their houses, making sure that you're standing out in a way that you're not just adding value, but you make sure that they know how much you appreciate them, you appreciate their business, and you absolutely appreciate in advance the referrals that they can send your way. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.